Hashtag research is life. If we want to know more about life, there is only one aspect that we might realize to do true and true. That is research. Curiosity, on the other hand, is one of the reasons why there are questions that we really want to find an answer. Right? Sort of. But doing research is not just about fulfilling our curiosity. Rather, what we can contribute in developing the society as well as the world per se. In our daily living, we get to immerse ourselves in different activities such as webinars, doing necessary stuff, visiting places, traveling, meeting other people, etc. All these activities will somehow make us experience both positive and negative sides of our lives. And with that, research will help us as we go through with our journey. Therefore, there is no such thing as innovation without the existence of research. Welcome to Practical Research One, which is the qualitative research. I am Mr. Christian Semineno, and I will be your discussant for today's lesson. Before anything else, we must begin first with our opening prayer. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We fly through protection, Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition or necessities, but deliver us from always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Scholastica, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Praise be Jesus Christ, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That in all things, God may be glorified. Let me present to you first some friendly reminders. Make sure you have a fast and reliable internet connection. Do not forget to subscribe on our official YouTube channel, Ignition Researchers, as well as on our Facebook page, The Ignition Researchers. Follow the dress code and observe proper decorum during consultation time or period. Answer all exercises and activities given and submit them diligently. And stay at home, stay healthy. Our learning objectives for this topic are the following. At the end of the discussion, you are expected to share and explain the importance of research in daily life, Describe the characteristic processes and ethics of research and differentiate qualitative from quantitative research and examples in different areas of interest. Are you ready, Agnesian researcher? Of course, you are. Let's have our activity. The question is, is research life? Do you believe that research is life or not? Perhaps you have this idea that resides in your mind. Am I right? The truth is, when we hear the word research, the first thing that comes in our mind is actually difficult, isn't it? Maybe yes, and maybe no. So, let us see. To know more about it, you must answer the following questions. 
what was or were your memorable experience or experiences in doing research? Did you find it difficult in conducting research? Why or why not? What value did you get from your experiences in doing research? How did it help you as a student? Did you get it? To answer those questions, all you have to do is go to saa.aralinks.com Afterwards, you must do the following. First, log into your account. Click Learn. Find my subject. Select hashtag research is live. Then, submit. Did you get it? Let me check about your own experiences and knowledge about research. I am looking forward to read your experiences. Hashtag research is live. So, are you now ready to know more about research? Excellent. Ooh. Let us discuss the nature of inquiry and research. What do you know about their nature? According to Baraceros 2016, inquiry and research are two terms that are almost the same and in meaning, rather. Both involve investigative work in which we seek information about something. But the question is, what makes inquiry different from research and vice versa? Okay. Let us begin with inquiry. What is inquiry? When you inquire something, what do you do literally? That is right. So, in other words, inquiry is to look for information by asking various questions. Those questions that reside in our mind is a form of inquiry. We do this by investigating or asking questions about something we are inquisitive about. Isn't it? Aside from that, inquiry is a learning process. Why is it a learning process? It is a learning process because it motivates us to obtain knowledge and new information about something. By doing inquiry, it will help us gain new knowledge and information. Did you get it? So, example, thus forever really exist. This is a form of inquiry, right? Ooh. So, what about research? What makes research different from inquiry? Do you have any idea? That is right. Research, on the other hand, is to discover truths by investigating scientifically. Discovering truth because it helps us prove the accuracy or truthfulness of our claims or conclusions about our research. Systematic way of investigation. Research is said to be systematic because it has step-by-step -step or it has procedures. Just like scientific method, we have to follow the steps. Next, we have the analogous to inquiry. When we say analogous, it is similar to inquiry wherein it also requires questioning. Did you get it? Example, what are the underlying factors about the concept of walang forever? Got it? So, after learning the conceptual definitions of inquiry and research, 
The question is, what makes them different from each other? Do you have any idea? That is right. So, in other words, when we do inquiry, our question requires simple and less thinking. Whereas, in doing research, our question requires more complex thinking and investigation. Did you get it? Again, in inquiry, it requires simple and less thinking, while in research, it requires more complex thinking and investigation. In some cases, my dear Agnesian researcher, inquiry is actually answerable by yes or no. While in research, it is not just answerable by yes or no because it requires more answers and investigation. Got it? Excellent. I hope you were able to know the nature of inquiry and research. So, let us check how you made it so far. If you were able to understand the difference between inquiry and research. In this activity, all you have to do is to write your answers on your hashtag research is life module book on page 7. Are you ready? Let me read first the directions. Individual work. Write the word inquiry on the questions that require simple and less thinking. And the word research if the questions require more complex thinking and investigation. You may answer first in your module book on on page 7. Okay, please avoid erasures. If you are ready, please get your notebook as well as your pen. So for number 1, we have Do you love me? Number 2, where does broken heart go? Number 3, why do some students always come late? Number four, who owns the confiscated cell phone? Number five, where do students usually hide their cell phones? Six, have you seen Mr. Chris Talens? Seven, did you do your homework in Research One? Eight, why do some students do not attend the first Friday Holy Mass? Nine, what are the factors affecting students to be absent? Ten, what are your memorable experiences during quarantine? Did you get it? So, let us check your answers. Just be honest in checking your answers. As you always say, we learn from our mistakes, but of course, it will be better if you will get perfect score for this assessment. It only means that you were able to learn the nature of inquiry and research absolutely. So, here are the correct answers. For number one, inquiry. Number two, research. Number three, research. Number four, res uh, four inquiry. Five, research. Six, inquiry. Seven, inquiry. Eight, research. Nine, research. And then, 
inquiry. Got it? For those who got a perfect score, you are excellent. Okay? You are able to learn about the nature of inquiry and of research. You are ready to conduct research. In other words, for those who got seven and above scores, very good. Somehow you are ready to explore more about research. However, for those who got six and below scores, perhaps you have to go back to the previous slide so that you will have an ample time to absorb the nature of inquiry and research. But still, you did great. You may ask your questions and clarifications during our consultation time or period. Okay? Are you now ready for the succeeding slides? Of course you are. Let's proceed.